Well, hello my friend, my name is Attila and this is Masterpiece. So normally when I make the intro I already have a pretty good idea how successful the project was but right now I don't. I'm making this intro before I finished the majority of the work so if you are watching a video about a boring vase then something went wrong. So if you are watching a video of something really cool something went right. So either way just comment below what I am making because I have no idea. Still I hope you stick around. Mustard piece. Okay look at this. I have bought this burr, elm burr a couple of days ago arrived and we are going to clean it up just to see what's going on underneath the bark. So this is about two weeks later. I dried it a little bit, like three, four times, just heat it up in the oven so it cracked a little bit. To be honest, I don't mind cracks. I like cracks. So let's try to shape it. I'm really wondering how much live edge I should leave on it. I generally think too much live edge is ugly. So too much live, if you want too much live edge, you really have to plan around the wood. And it's really difficult. I see turners making balls with five centimeter thick live edge. That's just, that's, that's never going to work, except if you really design around that live edge. So we take a little bit more of this. I still don't really have a design in my head, because I cannot design until I see the, see what I have, what I can work with. So 95% of the pieces that you see me doing, not accident. Every time I make a video, make a piece, it's multiple drawings. It's not just one, it's usually many. Sometimes I show you the finished really nice drawing, but I have plans, I always have plans. Okay, so now I can go upstairs and I will make a design.
So let me be honest with you guys. Yesterday I had a really good idea. At least that's what I thought. It was a really, really good idea. One of my best ideas ever. And I was really excited about it. And I went upstairs and started to talk to the people around me. And slowly they just started to talk me out of this idea. And uh, when I woke up in the morning, I was like, yeah, I'm just going to play it safe and I do something else. But, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to play it safe. I want to be an artist. There is nothing wrong with being a traditional woodturner, don't get me wrong, but I am a research scientist. When I go to work and I start to work, the work is serious, it's not, it's not a joke, there is no art in it. So I have rules that I have to follow when I come home and do my hobby, I don't want to follow any rules. And that's me, that's, that's who I am, I am not, I just can't do that. I need to be, I need to create something big. If I can't create something big, then I don't want to do this. I am not going to create videos anymore. I will sell my lathe and I just go upstairs and I will start to play computer games again. I want to do my own things and I don't want anybody to tell me otherwise. So, I am not going to play it safe. I am going to do something risky that might ruin this project but eventually hopefully I will get something good maybe not today maybe not tomorrow but sooner or later I will do something big something that worth watching something that give me 10 million views that's what I want to do I can make a normal ball anytime I can make a ball in, in 30 minutes but I don't want to make a ball. I want to make my own thing and I will do my own thing and nobody is going to tell me otherwise. Okay, getting there. The bottom still too thick, but maybe I go a little bit thinner here. Rather than that, it's not bad. I'm sorry guys. I've lost it for a minute. So, the rules are simple. This is my channel. We are going to do it my way. And today, we are going to make a vase with gemstones growing out of it. And believe me, I will get it done. I made these molds or uh, containers. Let's try it. So I only have a little amount of ampox. I already ordered it, hopefully it's going to arrive soon. Okay, so now hardener. Color, lots of green. Okay, mold has set. I'm going to cut it on the band saw into smaller pieces and uh, we can start to shape it. Let's do it. So it's really simple. Basically I'm just going to use the belt sander to sand flat faces many angles all of them flat triangular shape pointy ends it's 
easy. So I take the vase from the inside so it will hold epoxy. So let me show you how to go from average to cool. So just look at the transformation. Average, cool. Back to average, cool. Average, cool. Average, cool. <laughs> so going back to earlier when I got upset when people trying to tell me it's not a good idea. Do I still think this is a good idea? I think this is a pretty cool idea. But these people don't see what I see. It's like when I talk about it, it's not like when you see it in three dimensional form. So people don't understand what I mean and they try to talk about it. Is it a cool idea? You tell me, please comment below. Do you think, do you like it? So if this video somehow gets a thousand likes, I will remake this project using real gemstones. Probably going to use amethyst just to put some color in it. But I have a collection, I collect these but thousand likes. So let me show you a coffee table I made. Mustard piece.